Hi guys, welcome to the video. Here in this video, I'd like to uh, tell you about a few of the Unix based questions which uh, any fresher or fresh graduate came from the university uh, would like to be, to be asked you know, by the interviewer. Uh, so let's get started with it. First one is how to find hidden files in a current directory. So basically, Hidden files are the ones which start with the dot. For example, let me create a file. This is called a hidden file. For example, the bash profiles and all other are the hidden files. Mm, so suppose if you do ls, you will not be able to see the file which I've just now created. That is a test tree. So for that, you need to what you need to use is uh, minus a option from the ls command. Now you can see all the hidden files underneath the current directory. So let's move on with the next question. That is how to find the current running process or the processes in Unix server. So uh, you can use the ps command with the minus ef option. So it will display all the processes which are currently running on your server. So you can use uh, or let me clear the screen. Yeah, you can use minus EF and you can pipe it to grep and your command, whatever the command which you want to search. For example, you want to search the same process which you are running. You can do this one. So what are the, all the current processes which have the string PS, it will be displayed. Okay, let's move on with the next question. How to find the processes which is uh, taking maximum memory in Unix server? So there is a standard uh, command called top. Uh, this is the very frequently asked uh, interview question. A lot of the freshers uh, who don't know this answer. So this is top command which you can use uh, to uh, know the different processes which are using the maximum memory okay uh, let's move on to the next question that is how to find the particular directory in your uh, particular file in a directory for example if you want to find a file in a current directory using minus name for example, I have a file called flow.c, it's a C program, so I want to search whether it's there or not. So, see, it is in the there directory. It will also show the path of the file. And this is uh, very useful to uh, identify. For example, you can use the regular expression to know, uh, to view all the C files in your current directory. You can use it as star.c. So it will display all the C files under the current directory. Uh, let's move on to the next question. Again, it's a very simple one. How to find, uh, how to display the last 200 lines from any log file or last 10 lines of any log file? That's called tail command. It's basically can specify the number and then the file name. File name it displays all the uh, last 10 lines of the file. For example, uh, let me use the previous file that is flow.c. So here I want, I'm, I'm trying to display last 10 lines of the file flow.c. See, these are the last 10 lines of the file. And uh, one last question before I end this video is again a very simple one uh, and most frequently asked question. How to kill a process in Unix server? So there's a command called kill and uh, you can use minus 9 and either you can you can use the p 
PID number of that particular process. Uh, PID can be, you can find it out from the PF minus EF. So this is, these are the PIDs, so which you can use to kill the process. So basically, I'm not uh, kill minus nine, then the PID of the process. PID is basically process ID of the process. Uh, yeah. And okay. And uh, one thing you might be observing while I was uh, uh, checking this, uh, making this video, I was pressing the C, and it's my screen getting cleared. This again one of the in, again it might be asked in your intro as well. So this is called alias. So if you there's a command called alias. When you say here, I specified like this alias c equal to clear so basically instead of typing clear i'm just typing c so that uh, because of alias screen is getting cleared okay so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to come up with uh, new uh, more videos to uh, uh, more videos with uh, more unix interview questions uh, though these questions look very simple uh, and uh, very easy to answer, but uh, what I found in my last uh, 10 years of uh, uh, software experience that most of the freshers fail to answer some of these easy Unix based questions. So I'll try to come up with more and more videos to uh, answer some of these Unix based interview questions. Thanks for watching and kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, so that you'll get the intimation of new videos thank you very much bye